I need to take some time today to talk about what a complete baller Sylvester McCoy is. Welcome to the Time Treadmill. I'm Ron, and these are my sweaty thoughts about Doctor Who. At the climax of the greatest show in the galaxy, after the Doctor has faced down and defeated the gods of Ragnarok, and the psychic circus tent is collapsing all around, there's a shot where the Doctor exits the tent and calmly walks away while an explosion happens behind him. Now, that's a pretty standard Hollywood scene. In this case, the special effects designers underestimated the size of the explosion they set. And so, when the detonation went off, the explosion was much larger than they expected. So large, in fact, that parts of it actually set fire to the back of Sylvester McCoy's costume. He was actually in legitimate danger during this explosion. But to his credit, he calmly walks away from the tent, walks off camera without ever altering his expression, knowing that the shot was a one-take thing. They would never be able to remount it, and he didn't want to spoil the shot. So despite the fact that his backside was literally on fire, he just keeps the same calm expression and walks off screen. It is an incredible moment if you know what was happening behind the scenes. So kudos to Sylvester McCoy for pulling off the archetypal Hollywood explosion slow walk moment. Another vaguely noteworthy interesting thing about this story is the character of Wiz Kid. This is a kid who shows up at the circus and is completely obsessed with the psychic circus. He is the biggest fan of the psychic circus. He has all of the posters, he's been to all of the locations, he knows all of the stars, he has collected the action figures. He is transparently the writers and producers of the show image of Doctor Who fans of the day. And Honestly, they haven't changed much in the ensuing 30 years. It is perhaps not a very flattering portrayal, but you can feel the pain of the creators of this show and the double-edged sword of creating something so popular that it has rabid fans. I personally have had the good fortune to meet multiple actors and other creators from Doctor Who. And they have almost universally been very friendly and outgoing and generous despite the exhausting nature of that kind of interaction. And in particular, when I met David Tennant, I was staggered by how kind and gracious he was to every single person who met him. It's got to be a completely exhausting experience to be out there at a convention or whatever with no idea of who's going to step up to you next. And getting the rabid, rabid fans who want to discuss with you whether in episode three at the 23 minute mark when you said this, did you really mean that? And is the character from this planet and blah, blah, blah. The character of WizKid in this show embodies all of that. And, uh, you know, I have to cop to being guilty of being the WizKid on occasion. So... Thank you to all the Doctor Who people who have been so patient with me over the years. I've tried to be chill, but, you know, it doesn't always work. That wraps up the second season of The Seventh Doctor, which means I only have one more season left, just four stories, which The Seventh Doctor era is going by so fast, it's, it's almost heartbreaking. But in any case, I will be back tomorrow with the beginning of Battlefield and the return of Unit. I'll see you tomorrow.